Hi all. It's 11 minutes past one. I've started this video directly after that rant. I just want to do both in a separate video. But anyway, I've got a lot to talk about. I don't include rants this time. I've got video uploading regarding the milks I taste tested. So you'll see that before this one. Oh shit, my legs have gone stiff. I'm sitting down too long. Oh, ee, ee, ee. Right. I've actually got to go in the outside cupboard because there's a few bits I want. So scratch me back. There we go. Right. That's Nemo in his tray. I was busy in this room yesterday. I've actually been very, very busy. I have got the shelves up, installed these uh, retro source style lights and the LED sign, programmable scrolling LED sign. And all I've got to do is plug it in and use the control to program it. But, uh, I can't remember what all the buttons do without uh, grabbing the instruction book. And I know where that is. So I've got that mounted up. It's actually on these metal brackets here. So I can actually adjust the angle. It's actually angled downwards a little bit. And these lights are rescued from being thrown in the rubbish. The string was actually longer than that and I've actually cut it down and left a tail there for me to connect onto. But uh, they were a huge long string. Actually longer than the string I cut that from. <laughs> Much longer. Um, I can't remember how many bulbs I actually have on a string now, but I know it's more than 20. Because they're the old, what they used to put up around town. Why they threw the string out, I don't know. There's nothing wrong with it, it's not damaged. You know, and I've got another partial string there. So... I rescued all the bulbs as well. That's why I've got a big box full in there and a big box full in that outside clo um, closet but uh, well as you can tell they're not working yet because I haven't wired them up I've got this sort of got the speakers in place this corner is slowly looking pretty nice actually I'm happy with it so far I've got the whole desk painted the one color now instead of multiple different wood colors that was the whole idea of painting everything or at least the visible areas have been painted black. I haven't bothered painting the areas we can't see. What's the point in that? It's just a waste of paint. And time. Uh, but I need to go in the outside cupboard to find my boxes of electrical bits up. Because uh, I need... Switch. I can't remember if I kept the 1.5mm cable either. Because there's another way I could have done it. If I had the cable, I could have made a custom length. Because I could have put as many bulb holders on it as I wanted. I've got a bag of them in here somewhere. Down there. That I've shown before. I've got this bag here of these. Where you just put your... 1.5 or your 1mm cable probably would have been 1mm cable when these were new until I changed it to 1.5 you know made it half a mil bigger but all they do these unscrew well you'd yeah you unscrew the base and in there you've got two metal spikes you lay your cable on top your grey electric cable Screw this down, it clamps down those spikes, then dig into the cable. And then you would just mount that on your wall. And you'd have a rubber cover go on that. If it was outside use. Obviously for inside use I don't need the rubber cover. And these ones have the rubber covers built in. As you can see they just 
snugly fit around the bottoms of the bulbs just to keep the damp and moisture out. Which is a bit weird because, well actually by the time you screw this down tight that's quite a snug fit for the cable in there so it sort of seals itself. Yeah I've got shitloads of these that I rescued as well. But, uh, because obviously there's quite a large spacing between them, but I could have made, uh, if I had the cable, I mean, I could have put a load of lamp holders closer together, because like I said, I've got this bloody great bag full. Look. It's just full of them. I have no idea how many is in there, but I do believe you can actually still buy these as well. I know this one's not that a little, it is, it's plastic. I've actually got some from the 1960s in there as well. So if I can just find one. There it is. I read the back. B. B. Antry, made in England. 1965. Same sort of thing, you see, it just clamps down on the cable. Although I'm guessing the cable was a lot smaller back then, because that's a lot smaller hole. But it uh, just proves that this... <laughs> these are newer. These are like, I think, from the 2000s. These green strings. I remember the town buying these green strings of lights many years ago. They still use quite a lot of them. But I suppose... After a certain number of years, they replace them for safety and whatnot. But there isn't nothing wrong with these. I mean, they've got to be at least 10, maybe even 15 years old, that string, if not older. And it's still in good enough condition to use. I mean, there's no damage on the rubber. It's not perished. I just think that I said rubber, but I think this is actually PVC. It's got cable there which is you know specifically designed to last they're dirty more than anything as you can probably see the dirt on that <laughs> so yeah but with this one at least you could customize you know if you want to decorate the outside of your building like go around the edge of the roof they would use these and they would just screw the lamp holders to the wall hence the two little lugs there on either side Although the newer ones have got four lugs on. don't think you really need four lugs, but... Yeah. Uh, my general rule for this corner is it's got to be... no newer than the 1990s. Although I do have a couple of exceptions here because I've got nowhere else to put them. Excuse me, that's the Windows ME and the Windows XP. And technically this string of lights, because it is newer than the 90s, but that style of light has been around for decades, so I don't think it matters that much. You know. Oh, I think I've got a screw there that needs to be plopped in. These shelves actually went on the wall better than these ones. Um, as in, they didn't lean for... That one did, because these are quite heavy. That one went up quite nicely, even though that wall is harder to screw to, because I don't know what's the other side of it, but there's something friggin' hard that my drill bit would not drill into. So the screw holes are not as deep. They're deep enough. They're going about that far. So they're deep enough for these brackets and whatnot, but... I think the other advantage is this one's a lot lighter. Maybe I should have done a load that length. Um, note to self for future reference. I didn't think they were going to be made out of MDF. Which is actually quite heavy stuff. Especially this stuff because that's how thick it is. From this top edge down to my finger that's how thick the MDF is. You just See the join line, actually, you can see it better here. <laughs> yeah, it's not thin MDF. My stepdad made it out of really thick MDF. <clears throat> Which obviously added weight. I think that's why that was leaning. 
a little. I don't think it would have fallen off the wall, but I put the brackets on mostly just to, for the extra support and to level them up so they weren't leaning forwards as much. But uh, that one didn't need the brackets to level it up, but I put them on there just for the extra support. I don't think I needed to put the lights that or the shelves up that high anyway. I could have put them a little bit lower. I was going to put the other short shelf in there, but I think it'll come up to that monitor too close. Not unless I could get my stepdad to shorten that one a bit. Or to make a shorter one so it only comes up to somewhere here. And I can mount it just above the stereo. Just to give me an extra shelf in there. But then again, he could just take the circular saw through that and just... Zoop, and then just bung an end on it. <laughs> that would be the easiest option, I think. See, it's just got that block of wood in there, so it would be a case of just zipping through and cutting another bit in there to put in the end and a couple of screws and a bit of white paint. Done. <clears throat> I might get him to do that, actually, if we can just modify that one. And the other long one I'll just put in this outside cupboard for... It. Oh, I've got that to do. I might do that one later. I feel up to it just to prop that end up even even though that shelf has stayed on the wall I mean I've got a bracket hiding behind that but it just looks odd that you know there's a bracket this end not that end and there's one up there so and that end if you don't know if you can see but it is hanging down a little bit more than this end so I will put that up there <sighs> I need to go and take a pee because I'm crossing my legs at the minute. And go find some light switches. Oh, but before I just disappear, I'll put these ones up here as well. And I use the um, smaller golf ball types up here. I'm guessing they're called golf ball bulbs because these are about the size of a golf ball. I mean, I could put the ordinary size in there, but I figured I'd just use my golf balls in there. Got the tail at that end to wire it in, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect onto that and run the cable down to here and put a double light switch on here, which I don't think I've got. I'm pretty certain I don't have, so I'm going to have to get one. Then that way I don't have to run the, another power line and a separate switch and everything. I can just you know, click, click whatever I want on. Simple. <clears throat> a very simple. It's like um, permanently fixed Christmas lights. <laughs> but uh, I don't think I've got a long enough length of flex. I mean, I've got a vacuum cleaner in there, I paid a fiver for that I barely use, but I do need that for going over the Lego town for cleaning. Hmm. I'll have to have a think and I'll have a dig around in that outside closet. But, uh, until then, I've got a few things I need to do, so I'll talk to you in a bit. Alright, we're clear. So let's open this up and see if I can make use of this. I want to know if I've got enough room to get the cables in. Mm. Use the earth block for the neutral because it doesn't need to be earthed. The earth is not required, so because everything's double insulated anyway, so um, I can get away with using the earth as the neutral block for both neutrals. I think this will work. in here 
knock that one out. Because obviously I can't come through the bottom because the cable's got to come in from the side. So, knock out this as much as I can. Oh. Knock that bit out as well. I didn't really want to do that bit yet, but never mind. Don't actually know if the green cable's going to go in there. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, well, yay! Good. Okay, so this is going to work. It's going to work a treat actually. Oh yeah, I just got to break that bit. Um, I think my wire cutters are in the bedroom. Blah. I've got anything in here I can use. Ah, yes. Just to get hold of that bit. And that bit. Now why can't they all break away that easy? The number of these breakaway bits on other boxes like these I've had, which are an absolute bugger, as you can see, to break. I even found some, pardon me, <laughs> I don't know where that burp just come from. I even found some junction boxes in there in case I needed them. Actually, I'm going to need one of these. This is actually a bit overkill because it's a 13 amp, I think. Oh, 20 amp. But, um, I thought I had some 5 amp ones, which would have been man enough for that, but... Because uh, this is going to look better up there, I think. In the lounge, I mean. Up there, or in this corner, I should say. Uh, and then anything else I've got, because I can uh, get that up like that, you know. Butt this up against that. And then have the lights come out of that there. Because I want to put this down that corner, so I want to get this actually it might have to go like that I think yeah it will because that's not going to go far enough in that corner doesn't matter, well, I'll just put the lights in the end there and just connect them into here, job done Singles down here and along the bottom there as well, where the window is. I was going to put at least ah, 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 no. Um, I'm going to have a change around with the cables. Shit, I can't because I've clipped in, isn't it? Fuck. Fuck a duck. Um, without pulling everything out of there, I can't do what I want to do. <laughs> Shit. Really? Just make sure they'll go through, yeah, and they'll go through deep enough. No point on that one. Very useful. And I need this, and I'm going to go into the bedroom. And here we are. I have to put some lights on now. Shit! I don't know what I didn't get out of my box. I didn't get a bloody plug to put on the end of this, did I? <sighs> I'm not digging it out now. I'm going to have to find, a, find something I can pinch a plug off of, I think. Oh, I've got plenty of cables in a drawer through there. That'll do. Yeah, I do. Have some light on the subject. Roll this chair out of the way. Don't need to put the plug on yet, anyway. Um, I'm going to need my toffee hammer, also known as a pin hammer. And I'm going to need 
markers. Uh, I want to put the switch up this end just like that. There will do. So I'm going to get this box up first, I think. Might be the best idea. It was full charge. For some reason I had it in my head that the battery was going dead, but it isn't. screw because I ain't got to find that one. Because Numpty Nuts hair has dropped it. <laughs> uh, should we try that again? Need to go out a bit. Somewhere. strip it back from here. Like so, I hope. <laughs> he says. Jesus. Right. Uh, I'm going to need a knife. I don't think I'm going to do it without one. Is my great Stanley knife in the toolbox or is it still in the lounge? Still in the lounge. Okay, I'm back. With an implement. So I only need to strip it back to about it there. That ain't going to work. What about oh. it's so cutting into the live wire? <laughs> Ooh, just a smidge more. do the trick. For the live wire at least, I've now got to get the blue one out of there somehow. Take that out of there, just in case I slip and break it. Not that it matters because I've got a box, I've got two box fulls actually. Okay, so... to be quite the pain to do. Strip back. Let's get an end strip back on this. And I put all the tools through here except the screwdriver. I've got to hope there's one in my toolbox. Oh. 
try and get these threaded through. Like so. First lot of wire through. This may not work this way, I'm doing it this way. Because every time I try doing it this way, I always end up going into the wires of themselves. But I haven't this time. That is a first. Right, we don't need the earth. Just a one night car. Okay, actually, I'm just going to go and grab one more screw and just put that in there. Stop the damn thing moving around. Right, there we go, my screw. too tight with these using one of them because a number of times I've cracked the plastic. I absolutely hate when that happens. Right. So the neutral block is right there. Well what I'm going to be using as the neutral block anyway. Uh, let's get that blue wire trimmed down. Bit extra. Uh, just so I'm not leaning over that. able to doing the neutral first because that's got to give into that block so much easier you know if this table wasn't here but this is kind of an afterthought <laughs> Bit extra. 
extra. I could do a guy extra on this particular one, isn't it? The one that's being a pain. This is the easiest way I can do it. Upside down. Mushed it. Fudge sink. Ooh. Oh, I've gone my head. <laughs> that ain't good. That's uh. Lives wide into this somehow. Uh, I think there's enough there, so if I do that the same length. going down on the camera. <coughs> Two. That's got to go back there. That's got to be fun. Can we actually just fish that around? Go on 
Okay. I need to go and charge you. Me was fell down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was perfect timing. Let me stick that back up. I might try some of my sticky back clips instead of cable clips. I don't know. My knee just popped. Ow. Alright. And these are sorted. I just haven't gotten plugged in at the minute. But that's all connected up. I have a plug on this end so I can demonstrate them. Just plug them into there. Turn that on. Bing! What's it like with the light off? Actually pretty bright up that corner. Between that yellow and the white one up this end, that's uh, quite bright. I might stick another green one up this end, or oh, green and orange one if I can find them. One of my orange ones somehow got broken, but. can't believe I put that one in. That switch I mean. Right. I'm still trying to decide the best way to do these. I didn't think of that when I put them up there. Um, one thing I am thinking of doing is actually getting some um, cable like this, some two core flex, and going from here, along here, beside this cable probably up this side because that's where there's the most room I'm going up and over we're actually just along the top of this and then into that because I've already got lots of cables clipped in around there and then like I said because all this is in the way and I can't move this without taking that down so might be my easiest option but I can't do anything with that yet anyway because I haven't got the the um, double gain light switch I thought I had one well, actually I have got one if I steal it off of there <laughs> I might do that and uh, put something else down. I've got plenty of various switches I could make my own switch box up with. Ow. Alright. Anyway, I'm actually happy with that. I look, uh, I look good enough. I've got all those as well. I could put a set right along there if I wanted to. I don't know, I think that might be overkill though. Yeah, I think that would be overkill. Right. My brother should be giving me a phone call later. Um, not a phone call chat over discord now that they've uh, included um, chat and video chat and whatnot you know live chat so yeah <laughs> stick some bits up for sale tomorrow. I've got lots of odds and sods and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Yep. <sighs> oh, 
excuse me. Um, They are a dodgy company, mate. They are a dodgy company. I'm sort of feeling a bit eh tonight, so if I don't sound very talkative, that's why. But I wanted to update what I'd done. Got to plug in. I've just got to route the power cable because I can't really, you know, have it. Cheers, ambulance. <laughs> I can't really have it looped around the front there. Hmm. Should we go? Ah, that's what we can do. We'll go see if we can find the instruction book for that LED sign. I'm pretty certain it's in there. Now, as per my kitchen fail video, there is a trick to get in here. That's the trick. I'm sure it's in here. That's a cycle computer that I actually want to put on one of my bikes. That looks like, if I can get hold of it, a CR2025. Or is it? Nope, that's a CR2032, isn't it? Yep. Right. Nope. No. Oh, we've got the paperwork for my JVC camera. Bunch of those. Uh, well. No. Those are for my universal remotes. Why have I got a bunch of these little jumpers in here for motherboards and things? I don't know. I really don't know why they're actually in there. There it is. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, the front of it is rather faded. Oh! My memory card's full. Oh, that's right, because I've got an extra video on here. Alright then, I'm going to have a read of that and I'm going to shut you down and uh, I'm going to see if I can actually get that LED sign to do something. I'm going to transfer this footage over to the PC while it's doing that as well. Right, I've actually just been on a Discord chat with me brother. I'm going to go and put this in the fridge before I forget. I'm getting hungry, but all I've got is a loaf of bread and I don't really fancy toast. I've got nothing to put on toast anyway. Not unless I put a bit of salad cream on and I am seriously getting fed up with it. Well, I thought I had some tomatoes in here, but I think I'm a bit funny now as well. I'm going to turn the light off, it's not even on. Anyway. I've got it to do something. It's not as hard to program as you might expect. Uh, not once you've read through the manual and then start, you know, working out what button does what, it then gets quite easy. But uh, I've managed to get the time programmed anyway. And I can program it to do all sorts of things. I could program it to run a uh, a message. It can store up to nine messages. It comes with um, a module, a message module capsule, they call it, which this doesn't have. But it doesn't say what it does, but I'm guessing that it's 
probably to allow it to store more messages. But yeah, at the moment I've just got it scrolling the time. I can set the date as well and lots of other things with it. I just haven't done the date yet, you know, I'm going to change the, or I can have it blink, speed, middle, left side, up, I don't know what them ones do yet, I've still got a lot of reading in that manual to do, oh, I've put those up the top shelf as well, me radios, I actually forgot, I've still got one under there that needs a belt fit, oh, and I've changed the white and the other one up there for Oh yeah, I've unplugged them, dumbass. But the yellow and the white one was just too bright. Yet they're 25 watts. But uh, I'm guessing because of the actual colour of the glass, it's not, you know, masking the filament as well. It's letting more light from the filament through, I mean. It's probably why they seem a bit brighter. So I just stuck another orange and a green one in it and I might get rid of that blue one move the orange one up move the green one up and put a red one in this end so I've got the same sort of pattern possibly but it looks a lot better um, with these two up this end now so I'm happy this corner is coming together shit I've actually just realised I can't put a shelf on here now, can I? Not one of those, not unless I can find a way to mark where the cables go and just, you know, make a little gouge on the back, a little cutout. Hmm. I could do that. I'll have a word with stepdad on Sunday to see what he thinks. Well, it's been running for a while. I don't know how hot the um, power supply is, if it's even got hot. I've just left it running like that for the past couple of hours or so. Whew. I've got no plans for tomorrow. Uh, Been another clean up down here. Oh. <coughs> Bad me. Bad me. Great, I'm expecting a phone call. So, do I go find something to eat or don't I? Do I, don't I, do I, don't I? Got mayonnaise, but not fancy mayonnaise and anything. Got nothing to put mayonnaise in anyway. Uh. Ouch. I'm going to stick you up here. There's a pack of wipes behind you. I've got to remember. Remember to give those wipes to mum. Get rid of that. 
Let's get rid of that. Eat that for now, boss. Or not, you can run across the kitchen if you so desire. Oh my bloody back! Itching like hell tonight, guys. I don't know why, but I am itching all over. My psoriasis has probably got the hub with me for some reason. <laughs> So I'm doing, I'm just scratching and scratching and scratching. And more frickin' scratching. One of them. Another one of them. I like falling over. Bit of that. reason I keep thinking today is Wednesday and I don't know why I can smell it's Thursday. Thursday! You know, I saw a news article a little while ago. Right. Where this 35 year old woman has just been jailed. I don't know how long for. I didn't read the article in full. For um having sex with a 12 year old boy and apparently she was crying in the dock obviously crying because she didn't want to go to jail and she may or may not have had remorse for what she did you know I don't know but I probably could have chosen my words better but I did say in the comments that uh, she should have thought of that before she opened her legs. Which is true. She obviously knew what she was doing. She knew it was wrong. She still encouraged this 12 year old boy to do it. Now she's faced the consequences. But someone replied to my comment and said I was sick for saying it. Not as sick as what she did. She's a pedo. You know. And if this other woman who replied to me is going to, well, from what I could see, stick up for her because of what I said, then that makes her no better. She's sticking up for a fucking pedo. Why would you stick up for someone like that? But anyway. I've forgotten what else I was going to say now. Uh, my brother is looking at buying another motherboard. He saw one he liked on Gumtree but the guy hasn't replied so it may have been sold. Um, but I'm going to guess that my brother is actually going to buy another motherboard at some point so I could very well end up with his current setup which is a lot better than the setup I've got there and a lot better than the motherboard I've got in a case through there that he bought me that I still owe him for so um, I can't remember the specs it's DDR4 RAM so it's going to have faster RAM not that that's a problem on mine I've got DDR3 and that 8GB really isn't a problem I've only ever seen it use up to 50% of my RAM so 4 gigs. I've never seen it go above that. Obviously I don't know if it does when I'm playing my summer car or something because I've not actually checked it. But 
for doing the general stuff I do at least, it doesn't really go that much more above 50%, so um, it won't come with any RAM if I do get it off of him. Because obviously he'll need that for whatever board he stuffs in it. Uh, but there's a website called CEX. Yeah, I know it's quite. <laughs> you could easily um, get into trouble for that if you're not careful. Because it could easily be misinterpreted if someone's a, uh, you know, earwigging, listening over your shoulder. Oh, you need to go at this website called Sex. <laughs> but uh, it is quite cheap for RAM, and you can get video cards on there, and all sorts of things DVDs, CDs, video games. They buy and sell, so you can sell items to them as well. So you've like, got a bunch of DVDs you don't want, you can sell it to them. But anyway, want that, want that, thank you, light off, Ooh, close up with my ugly mug, Ugh. ouch, I'll put the wall there, I need a shave again, Ugh. just thinking of going for the handlebar tash, you know, keep it going down here, thinking of it, so I do like that design, that design, that style rather. Anywho, do I run the command game yet? Oh, might as well. Fuck, that's not what I want to do. <laughs> right, I'm going to end the video then because I'm going to chill out while I wait for the phone to ring. If Mum hasn't fallen asleep, I bloody hope not. But she was actually in the bath last time you so. Jimmy, over here! Why? Just the way it should be. Trying to crack that down a little bit, just for a minute. Right. So, thanks a lot for watching. Um, I've still got lots of little jobs and things to get on with. I've got lighting in here to do, but I can't do that yet because I don't have any cable. Uh, I've got singles, but I don't really want to use singles for that job. Uh, what else have I got to do? Still got a couple of radios to fix. Lots of little bits like that. So, again, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.